Hello my fellow researchers and welcome to another video in this video series known as SPSS is fun. And in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a mixed currency variable into a common currency variable based on an identifying variable. So you can see here I have two variables. I have my mixed currency variable and my, my country which is my identifying variable. And now for my country, my identifying variable, I have three categories. We have uh, one being assigned to Canadian dollar, we have two being assigned to US dollar, and we have three being assigned to Brazilian real. So you want to keep this information handy when you're doing any sort of computations or transformations so that you always remember exactly what values are assigned to what categories. So I'm going to hit OK. Lovely. Now I'm going to check out my data view and here you can see all these, these uh, currency values. Okay, and here we have the country. So for example, we have 43 US dollars, 34 Brazilian real, 23 Canadian dollars. And we want to convert all these into the same currency, a new variable, uh, a common currency variable. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit transform. I'm going to hit compute variable. We're going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it can currency. Okay. And now our numeric expression, we're going to somehow manipulate or compute or change our mixed currency variable by some expression into so that it, it, it it's in now a Canadian currency. So I'm going to hit if. Now if you, I don't know if you saw that. If. And I'm going to choose include if case satisfies condition. I'm going to throw country in this box. So now what we're saying is if country equals, I'm going to start off with one. If country equals one, which is our, our Canadians here, then, then what are you going to do with that number? So if country equals one, I'm going to hit oh, continue. If country equals one, what do you want to do with this mixed currency value? Okay, and I don't want to do anything with it, right? So let me just just for, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to put mul times by 1, multiply by 1. So if, for all the Canadian values, I basically just want you to, to, to just transfer them um, into this variable, this new variable, because they're already in Canadian dollars. There's, not, there's nothing to, to convert. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit OK. Execute. Lovely. And there we are, right? 23 Canadian dollars, 23 Canadian dollars, 55 Canadian dollars, 55 Canadian dollars. So now we're going to do it for each of the other two remaining uh, currencies. Again, transform, compute variable. I'm not going to change this part right here. It's going to stay the same because I'm going to uh, just fill in these, these missing values. So we have mixed currency times one. Well, that's going to change. Let's go to our if function first. So if country equals two, now two is USA, right? Let me hit continue. So if, if we're dealing with US dollars here, $32, what do we want to do to that to convert it into Canadian dollars? Well, if you're, if you're a US, if you live in the US, you know that when you come to Canada, you gain more money. Well, I mean, you know, objectively, you'll just have uh, more, more dollars, I suppose. You're not really uh, uh, gaining anything, but in this case, we're going to be multiplying by 1.3. Okay, so from US to Canadian, we're going to multiply by 1.3. I'm going to hit OK, change existing variable, OK, and boom. Let's check it out. There we go. 32 US dollars is 42 Canadian dollars. 43 US dollars is 56 Canadian dollars. Lovely. Okay, now let's do the last one. Compute variable. If if country equals three, that's our Brazilian real. Hit continue. What are we going to do? We're going to multiply. What's the conversion? 0.4. Okay, you're going to lose. Well, objectively. Multiply by 0.4. I'm going to hit OK. Change existing variable. OK. Now it's just going to fill in all the remaining values here. You can see the 22 Brazilian real is now 9 Canadian dollars. Wow. 
Yeah, so if you're coming up from Brazil, you might be in for a surprise. 67 Brazilian real, 27 Canadian dollars. So that's how you can, uh, one way actually of, of, you know, computing a new variable. Um, one way of, of converting uh, a mixed currency variable into a common currency variable. There are other ways of doing that. Some of them more efficient if you have lots of different, uh, say, different identifiers here. But that's one simple way you can do it, and, and it'll never do you wrong. It's not complicated. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Uh, and uh, if not, then, well, stay tuned for my next video in this video series known as SPSS is Fun. Cheers.